El viejo es el Lord Comandante de la Guardia de la Noche. ¿Quién soy yo? ¿Quién soy yo? El Lord Comandante. ¿Qué sabéis vos de mi padre? Lo conocí. Visité el muro. Cuando le pregunté por sus hombres, conocía sus historias, la de cada uno. Se preocupaba de verdad por los hombres a su mando. No necesito que sea encantador, sino que convierta un atajo de ladrones y forajidos en hombres de la Guardia de la Noche. ¿Y cómo va eso, Comandante Mormon? Bien. Estarás listo para esto. Creo que un lobo parece más apropiado para ti que un oso. John Nieve, el Lord Comandante Mormon te reclama como su mayordomo personal. Tráeme una jarra de cerveza, Nieve. Y sírvete tu otra. Si pesco ese apuesto bastardillo hablando con mis hijas... Nadie hablará con vuestras hijas, tenéis mi palabra. Ahora, siéntate y cierra la boca. Estarás con él día y noche. Sí, ya sé, le lavarás la ropa. Pero también recibirás sus cartas, lo ayudarás en las reuniones, serás su escudero en batalla. Lo sabrás todo. Serás parte de todo. ¿Quieres mandar algún día? Pues aprende a obedecer. Te ha reclamado él mismo. Quiere prepararte para el mando. Necesitamos a hombres como Craster. ¿Crees que importa quién se siente en el trono de hierro? No. Bien. Porque os quiero a ti y a tu lobo con nosotros. Ha llegado un cuervo para el hijo de Ned Stark. Buenas noticias o malas. Ambas. Y mi tío. ¿Quién eres tú? Vuestro mayordomo. El honor te hizo irte. Y te hizo volver. Espera afuera. Lord Comandante. ¡Hazlo! Espero que seas mejor explorador que mayordomo. Ve. Te dije que no cometieras estupideces. Era la espada de mi padre. Y de su padre antes que él. Los mormon la han llevado durante cinco siglos. Que los dioses os protejan. Hemos pasado por seis aldeas viniendo por el camino. Las seis estaban abandonadas. Si no vuelve, tú tampoco. No es amigo mío. Quebrantó sus votos. Traicionó a sus hermanos. Oh, vaya. Pero antes solo era un pobre cuervo negro. Tu deber está aquí ahora. Vuestro techo. Vuestras reglas. Espero que no se te ocurra cometer una estupidez. Te dije que no cometieras estupideces. Cuando mañana vayamos más allá del muro. Más allá del muro. No me quedaré aquí esperando dócilmente las nieves. Jamás veremos otro como él. Vivió y murió por la guardia. Y fue traicionado por sus propios hombres, apuñalado por la espalda por cobardes. Comandaba una expedición más allá del muro. Se rebelaron. Fue apuñalado por sus hombres. Si en la Guardia de la Noche somos hermanos, el Lord Comandante Mormont era nuestro padre. Como decían en la Guardia, jamás veremos otro como él. Each brother of the Night's Watch swears a sacred oath to protect the realms of men. That doesn't mean pissing about, waiting for the cold to finally put an end to you. It means bleeding. It means fighting. 
He means going beyond the wall and hunting down those who mean harm to the realm. So how do you get a thousand rapists and thieves to fight together, to bleed together? That's the burden of the Lord Commander. He keeps the builders building, the rangers ranging, and the stewards stewarding, or else it all falls apart. Each Lord Commander is chosen from and by his fellow brothers, and he serves for life. A long time ago, you may have had men from Queensgate and Long Barrow and the other 16 castles of the wall come to Castle Black for an election. These days, you'd be lucky to scrape a few dozen from Eastwatch and the Shadow Tower, or however many they can spare who cast votes in their stead. All the same, the brothers are allowed to name whomever they think worthy of the title. Then we vote until one man receives a majority, however long it takes. Some elections have lasted less than an hour. Some have lasted weeks. One even lasted two years. Maester Eamon has said there have been 997 Lord Commanders since the Night's Watch was founded. Back then we had true soldiers, men of honor and strength. Now look who mans the wall. Bastards, peasants who stole a sheep to bugger, and fat little nobles who weren't worthy of their Lord Father's land. But the Lord Commander must find a place for them all, and turn these walking piles of horse dung into soldiers of the Night's Watch. Though we haven't always been so lucky to have such men to lead us, we've had cowards and fools as well. Our tyrants and our madmen. Runcel Hightower tried to bequeath the Watch to his bastard. Roderick Flint thought to make himself king beyond the wall. Tristan Mudd, Mad Mark Rankenfell, Robin Hill, each nearly destroyed us with their foolishness. 600 years ago, the commanders at Snowgate and the Nightfort even went to war against each other. The simpering Lord Commander asked them politely to lay aside their quarrel. And incredibly, they did. Because they joined forces to murder him. The Stark and Winterfell had to intervene and take both their heads to save the Night's Watch. Now we've got more mouths than we can feed. A southern king in our castle, and cells full of wildlings, and no Lord Commander, since the last was betrayed by his own men. We need a new leader, a man respected enough to hold the Watch together in this dark hour. A leader strong enough to make sure that the Night's Watch survives the coming winter, no matter the cost.
Muy buenas noches, sostófilas y sostófilos gamers y casuals. Bienvenidas y bienvenidos a este nuevo episodio de Game of Thrones, episodio 7 del canal. Que, en fin, me había dejado muy abandonado, ya lo siento de veras, he tardado casi un año en, retom en retomarlo, pero aquí estamos otra vez. He decidido esta vez hacer una grabación en vez de un directo porque básicamente, bueno, si alguien quiere que haga directos, ya volveré a los directos, pero me viene más, es más cómodo para mí grabarlo. Pese a ello voy a jugar del tirón, voy a seguir, eh, aunque cometa errores, intentaré no cometerlos. Pero bueno, y si alguien quiere que vuelva a los directos, pues perfecto. Lo que pasa es que ahora mismo son las 3 y media de la madrugada y no creo que nadie estuviera viéndolo, así que en fin. He pensado que, oye, lo pongo lo pongo un vídeo y lo subo para mañana, que es casi lo mismo. Además la calidad, aunque sea un juego que se ve bastante bien en los directos, se va a apreciar mucho mejor eh, con la grabación. Pero bueno, no, no adelanto más esta introducción y vamos allá, vamos a empezar o, o seguir donde lo dejamos. Tenía ganas, tenía ganas de retomar el, la serie. Creo que nos va a mandar directamente a, al episodio donde lo dejamos. O al menú. Bueno, no estoy seguro. No, pues deja ahí. Bueno, como anotación, teníamos ahí la introducción de George Mormont. Me ha parecido adecuado poner a este personaje porque va a ser, creo yo, el el personaje, o sea, la figura que va, va al sobre la que va a pivotar un poco esta parte del episodio así que nada, vamos a ver si si podemos continuar donde lo dejamos que creo que era con Gareth y otros al otro lado del muro vamos a ver qué tal se guardó esto eso es, continuó el episodio 4 le temes a la muerte pues bueno no sé, un poquito, igual sí, no te voy a decir que no. Pero vamos a ver. Seguiré jugando con el mando que me parece mucho más cómodo. Y aquí es donde lo dejamos. You sure you know where you're going? Potter? Recordamos que Cotter era un salvaje, era del norte. Let's see that map again. Así que se supone que. ¿Qué estás now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Se supone que sabía bien. Here we are. Carried. How was the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. We'll have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. Un oso, un oso ahí. No, no entiendo muy bien eso. Oh, salvajes. The free folk. Oh, thanks. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on Ting. No, I'm a, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm oh. oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first! Listen, 
I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. Please! You should have stayed behind your wall. He's not alone. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. Leave them be, all right? Just... just take me. I think I'll take all of you. You wouldn't want your friends to feel left out. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. Estamos rodeados. Esto parece un poco. Cabrit. Kill them. No hay más opción. Es la tienda de qué es. Thanks. Fuck. Ah! Ah! Got her. Fighting you. It's over. Just don't do it. Garrett, let her go. What have you done? She was running away. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Tres. Tres salvajes muertos. Vamos a... La casa Forrester. No creo que tome una mala decisión. Igual es un poco agresivo. Nada, tengo ni idea. No sé. Eso me parece que la comida era importante. I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I didn't. I didn't know how to stop myself. Mother hadn't stepped in, I'd have killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. 
Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. They're barely trained, Royland. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, we'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. We have to leave someone in charge of the keep while we're gone. Sir Royland comes with us. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. Talia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. <laughs> You're my family too, Malcolm. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. en Merín para para ganar la confianza de Daenerys Shall we begin? Listen up. There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that you giant warhammer? Get in, do what you have to do, and get your people Didn't out she hit alive. you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my about. head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? 
If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. Is that understood? How could I possibly refuse you? <laughs> you would be wise not to. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. Hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Nos acordamos bien ella había sido esclava en esta ciudad. Es lo que lo tenía así de me inquieta volver ahí. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. No sé muy bien qué es esto que estoy usando ahora mismo. Cobertura, pasar sigilosamente. Vamos a pasar el juego entero y vamos. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? Cover me. Someone's up there. Then we'd better move. What are they doing? Hey, Pesca! Pesca! Now, Amisha, my is Liwash. Shall she? Shall she, Liwash? Skuda juntas wa. Yellow Amisha, my is Liwash. Shall she, Liwash? Spalsa Washka. My is Liwash. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Pesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this. Just tell me. Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Pesca! Where are you going? Follow her! Oh, no. 
Jaila, lige hæld dem ilden. Hvor helvede? Hvor helvede? Ingen dratule. Se was hos lige om jeres. Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you. Beska! He was my master. Desozoraza. The man who forced me to... I'm going to kill you! That is a mercy compared to what you deserve. After what you did to me. To those other children. Nobody can blame you for wanting him dead. Do what you must. I will. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. My, my best guy. I am not. Let him go. Help. What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asher. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asher, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asher. Take your hand off me. I know he deserves it, but we need Daenerys on our side. You kill him, and we lose everything. Don't let this all be for nothing. Damn you, Asher. Wait! <sighs> we might just make it out of this alive yet. She's just getting started. Over there! So when were you gonna tell me he's a fucking wildling? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. You can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Ha! Huh. How bad is it? Uh, I don't have anything to clean it with. Oh, great. Of course, I died by bloody infection. Don't say that. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Bring some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind.
Strange. Guess there's not much to do up here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll, I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. Won't take long. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! You're outnumbered. You can't fight all of us. Oh, Sylvie. You're alive. Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You brought crows here. You planning on introducing us, Cutter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. If things get bloody, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't answer the question. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Bruce Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. 
Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Lo interesante realmente de esta serie, película, juego, novela es es cómo te hace ser empático con todos los personajes, entenderlos, ver su intentar ver su visión, ver su interacción de, de esta sala. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. Bart from the other side. That's far enough. Realmente me ponen nervios porque esto es juego de tronos, macho. Es juego de tronos. What's Lord Whitehill planning? Bloodshed, most likely. We won't go down without a fight. Just follow my lead, whatever happens. Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. He's testing us, seeing what we're made of. Recordemos que la hospitalidad es algo muy importante en las culturas norteñas, sobre todo, pero como en general. Y una tradición. La hospitalidad es pues, una maldición para quien lo va. Roderick! Welcome to High Point! Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? <laughs> you kept us waiting, Lord. What can I say? I lost track of time! Can we just get on with this? Father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. <laughs> Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast. 
to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? To family. To, to family. family. Now, I want to see Ryan. And I want something too. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten I'm us. I'm not threatening. We help you, you don't kill us, is that it? Roderick, this could save your house. She's right. I'm throwing you a rope. And asking us to tie it around our necks. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer you opportunity. And you call it extortion. Need I remind you? You kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms... Or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. They begin slaughtering your small folk. Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! Uh, no! No! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I swear do by this. the gods if you will. Lady, get down! He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we agreed Blame him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again. You think I give two shits about Griff? <laughs> About my fucking fourthborn! Power! I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned! I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Ryan, I said all let that! Go of of me. Let you go! Everyone, no. Now, Royland! <risa> vale, no era la, la opción adecuada. Van al Morgulis, muy bien. O sea, tengo que coger otra. Joder, joder. If you want to see Griff alive you think again, I get two shits about Griff. Vale. About my fucking fourth born. Power! I want to kill you right now. Because you foresters never I'm learn. I'm not afraid of you. Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Why don't you seven all go of me? Let me! Let you go! Everyone, please! I'll kill you myself! Roger, do something! No, no. Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. White Hill is still a White Hill. You know what, Roderick? You're right. 
Ryan! Come here! No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards like the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Come on, let's move in. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. That's all you care about. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? You'll just sit outside the gates waiting. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not a... We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way.
You hear that? This Khaleesi calls herself the Breaker of Chains. We will... I think Croft got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go! You're ruining it. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you do. Little rat. Did you say something? Uh, well? I said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it that way. You tell me when your sword breaks. Then it won't break. Uh, you in heaven first. See how you like it. All clear down there? Hey! We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. All of us. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Oh, 
sube, no sube. Believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? It's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now yeah. Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. Restoring our family is just the beginning. Next we'll rebuild, make ourselves strong again. Oh, Roderick, sometimes you sound just like your father. My lord, look. Where are the gods? Dahlia! <laughs> Duncan! Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Drift. Wait here. No podemos matarle. Si lo matamos, no hay intercambio. <laughs> Come on! Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Oh, maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I didn't mean to... Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her mammons. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Próximamente in Game of Thrones. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do? The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you are not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh. Pues, 
señores, así se queda eh, este episodio. Uf, la verdad es que ha sido bastante tenso y con un error ahí grave. Ahora, no siempre la violencia es la solución. Pero aquí nos quedamos. Yo y un 87%. Eh, broke finalón. Fin es el tercero de, atrás, de ahí atrás, creo. O sea, decidimos que fuera con nosotros. Yo y un 61,2%. Maimed Gave, o sea, Maimed, como perdonar, supongo. Yo tuve un 90% Keep, Sera, Secret, From Lord, Tarwi. No me acuerdo ni qué era eso ahora mismo. <risa> Yo y un 74,8%. Ordenó que Glimmor, los soldados de Glimmor, se mantuvieran en, en Iron Wrath. Yo y un 44,1% detuvo a Vesca de matar al amo de esclavos. Cosa que creo que nos va a beneficiar supuestamente con cuando hablemos con Daenerys ya veremos, a ver por lo que hemos visto en la preview eh, así que de momento lo dejamos aquí más en el siguiente episodio episodio número 7 este de nuestro canal, episodio número 8 el siguiente, cerramos el episodio 4 del juego Hijos del Invierno así que espero que lo hayáis disfrutado y nada, nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo, muchas gracias a todas y todos